hey guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is Rishangle Malomani and in this channel we talk all things adulting so in today's video we are going to talk about how to prepare yourself things you need to look out for when you move from rest to your own place so i know like most young adults are moving into their own places you've heard that you need to get a lease or should you get a roommate or should you rather buy property like this if you're moving out and you're going to a space of work those are the kind of things that we want to talk about today first things first you need to identify are you renting or buy i'm going to talk today specifically about renting because buying is a whole nother video that we're going to talk about in a later stage when you start working you're very tempted to actually buy but is buying the right option for you at the moment are you buying with your heart or are you buying with your head and that is some of the things that i did some way there that we're going to talk about in another video some other time so to the, in today's video we're specifically going to talk about rent if it's your first time joining me here today welcome we talk all things adulting in this channel if you're a returning subscriber welcome welcome back and let's get right into the first thing that you need to do is to work out your budget how much can you afford can you afford two thousand rents three thousand rents four thousand rent five thousand after finding out what your budget is let's say for the purposes of this video your budget is three thousand rents per month for rent now you need to look for a place that is closer to work do you have a car if you have a car i think that is a blessing because that means that transport is not so much of an issue for you if you don't have a car that means you need to have find a place that is accessible that you there is actually transport because i know where i work transport is a problem like if you don't have a car you're going to struggle with transport i remember i used to take like a taxi i used to take a taxi to cape town take a uh, um a train then take a taxi after that like i would get to work after two or three hours like that is not nice so what i could have done in my situation for example was to find a place where i can live closer however now the places that was closer to where i work it's all suburbs like the people's houses the apartment that is close to my workplace is like 10 12 000 rents a month i can't afford that what could i have done i could have just looked at people looked at people i could have went door to door and be like hey i am looking for a place to stay if you know someone with a bedroom uh, i would love to stay there so that i can walk to work however um that was not something that i thought of at that time i decided you know what i am just going to get myself a car because i'm not gonna struggle like this anyways but i had that advantage if you do not have that advantage and your place of work is not accessible to transport i think that's what you need to do because the neighbors the surrounding place the, the people around that place they know uh someone who might have a bed door who would who can actually accommodate you so now you've decided okay i am going to live at this place because it's accessible with transport it's easy for me to get to work or i'll be able to walk to work or i have a car i can be able to drive to work so now i need to think do should i get a roommate should i rent a one bedroom house this depends on your budget if you are living in cape town because i'm going to refer most to cape town because that's where i've lived um in my adult life i don't know of other places in Joburg. i don't know how how thing how things go but i think this information can be relevant uh depending on where you are you just need to make sure that you use it well so let's take for example you live in cape town three thousand rent is not enough for you to actually rent like a one bedroom apartment that means that your next option would be to get a roommate so now how do you get a roommate so there are different ways in getting a roommate when i started out what i decided to do was that i don't want to sign a lease i have no idea what it means when they say and this is binding i was so scared i was terrified that oh my goodness i'm not gonna get my deposit back what if something happens and all and all and all and all that so i decided you know what i'm gonna go to gumtree so there are there are different ways for you to get a, a place and i'm going to discuss that now let me start with the two places when you want to get a one bedroom apartment for example your budget allows you to do that maybe your budget is like six seven thousand rents a month you can actually go to property 24 and you also can go to a uh, private property those are the two websites that you can go into and see which places in that particular area you can go into i'm gonna leave the links in the description box below if you're deciding on a roommate then that is it's not gonna be that easy for you i know private property i've seen some other people advertising another room you can also go there uh and check uh for 
for a, a somebody who is actually renting out a room so let me just explain how this works so it's like i have a place uh maybe i have my own house and then i have an extra bedroom so i can actually rent out the extra bedroom and you are looking for a place to stay so i can just go to pro private property i've never seen this in property 24 I don't know if they do it maybe they do but i've seen it in private property where somebody is advertising an extra room in their house and you can actually go and talk to this person they tell you how much water is electricity is and you're just going to stay there the second thing that you can do is that depending on depending on your salary depending on your credit record as well you can actually rent an apartment let's say for example your budget is three thousand rents but your salary and your credit record are good enough for you to actually get uh, a two-bedroom apartment so you can get like a two-bedroom apartment and three thousand rents which is like six thousand three thousand rents in one room three thousand rent is another room so you just need to find the problem with this is that if you don't find somebody to stay with you you're going to have to pay the other 3000 So you need to think about this option very carefully. So now you have your own place. There are different scenarios in this case. There's somebody who actually got like their own one bedroom. If you got your own one bedroom, that is awesome. Like you have no problems at all. We can move on to the next phase with you. If you are actually uh, getting a two bedroom and you're going to rent out the other room and you need to find a roommate, I think that is another video on its own that I'm going to do. I will note it down uh, where we're going to talk about how do you find a roommate, how do you check if somebody is suitable for you. And yeah, because it's not easy, but it's something that is very doable. And the third person is like me when I started. When I started, I was like, I want to go live with somebody in somebody's house. I don't want the responsibility of having a whole roof over my head, the responsibility of carrying a lease. I don't want that. I want to be with some. I want to see what this renting spaces mean and how actually people do it. Another thing that I forgot to mention, guys, is safety. Is the place safe? Does the house that you're going to stay is the security at the gate, or do just everyone just walk in as they please? Does the door lock do the if you have sirens or alarms? Do those alarms work? I think that. I think that is some important information that you also need to consider. You want to find somebody, you want to live in another room in another person's house because you have a low budget and you are scared of having a list over your head and you're just that one person who's not sure about how long they want to stay in that area so you don't want the commitment of a list. What do you do? The first place that you can go, you can go on Gumtree and on Gumtree, I know that you can actually put like there are people there that advertises their places, there are pictures as well so that you can see the place before wasting your time and going to view the place. Um, you can actually write the area that you want for house for sharing. Uh, if you go on Gumtree, you can find this on uh, property to rent. There's also OLX, you can go on OLX, there's also like properties there. You can also go on Facebook. There's a, a, a marketplace on Facebook where there are rentals. You can go there and then you can actually search for rentals in that particular area. It will give you a lot of options with pictures and prices and also the people that would want there. The nice thing I like about Facebook is that, so if I post something on Facebook, you can just go in my profile and you'll see everything else that I've shared publicly um, on that profile, you know, so that you know exactly who you are going to share with. Um, another thing about Facebook is that there are groups. So this one's, I don't know how to search for them particular, but if you're in Cape Town, I'll give you like a few names. There is one called, I'm reading guys, Haze and Haze, and another one called Table View Room to Rent. So you can go into this group. So in this group, people write, I am living alone or with a dog. I'm looking for this kind of a person and stuff like that. There's also like Dings Connect. I've never used them before, but I know that they focus mainly on student accommodation, but I know that they also like partner with like young professionals and all that. So you can also check them out. So you find your perfect person. Uh, you guys get along. Uh, you have tea together. Um, for me, I remember when I went to, when I got a place to stay at, I was so scared because this person, I went to view the place. I love the place. It was in an estate. Mind you, I've never lived in an estate before. And I'm just like, this is their life. This is their life. I want to live here. It was, I love the place. So I was sharing with this man and his lovely wife. 
um yeah she showed me okay this is the kitchen this is what you'll be using this will be your room the room was big enough for me i liked it i could fit in my bed and i could fit in my study table because i was still studying at that time so after you found that um i i this guy had to secure the place because it's like yeah you love the place but tell it i could love my sister like you need to pay and i was so scared just giving somebody my money like okay there's no agreement there's no nothing but then we did we did make like a small agreement just to make me comfortable you know with giving him my money and yeah i gave him the money we signed that paper that we created together and i remember i came back from home and then i moved in there now the financial part of it happens like moving to a new place is expensive moving to a new place is expensive it's very important for you to save 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 because you need a, a bed that's the first thing like you cannot sleep on the floor the first night that i was there i was like where am i going to sleep fortunately for me uh the people that i was staying with they were so lovely they borrowed me one of their mattresses and i used that for a few days before i got a bed now a proper bed is like five thousand rands so you need at least five thousand rands for a bed you can get a cheaper one i think i remember i got mine for like 3.5 because i was yeah i was just like whatever um yeah so you need a bed and i thought okay just getting a bed is enough no it's not enough you need a pillow ne? and now i was like guys there's no way i can live in my own place and still sleep in a single bed like no i need to get a proper bed so i got myself a double bed um and then now i need fitted sheets i need duvets i need all the work that comes with a bed bedding can be expensive so i got bedding i thought oh that is good next thing that i needed was a fridge i had to buy myself a fridge which i did next thing that i needed was curtains luckily for where i stayed there was a uh, uh that i forgot what they call it that thing where you do this curtain rails no guys you know what i'm talking about yeah there were those things so there was no need for me to actually get a curtain but that is actually something that you need to consider as well and then now you cannot eat cold food you need a microwave i think that is also something that is important so guys this was just me and where i used to stay however if you are going for the option of staying with someone i think the one tip that i can give you is that you can find someone where their place is already like half furnitured or fully furnished you can find if somebody is living in their own house they have already have a washing machine they have a microwave they have a stove you just go there some places they even have a bed all you need to do is just to keep, get your clothes and stay there and that could be the a cheaper option for you so i think that is something that you can consider as well however if you do not if you're moving into an empty place like if you are just moving in like when i moved to where i'm staying now i had to buy curtains and unfortunately yeah this is like a two bedroom so we have i had to get curtains for the kitchen i had to get curtains for the sliding door i had to get curtains for my room guys that that alone was about 800 friends i had to i didn't have a couch for a long time because it was just like no 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 and i also had to get like a study table because i was a student then so that is another thing that you need to consider but then how how are you going to eat now like you need to have your plates you need to have pots with pots guys i want to advise you with pots i think i come from hipopo ne? and where i grew up my mother always used hearts well she's now fancy but hearts are the way to go if you're still a student you're still starting out hearts are the way to go I tried being fancy and bought this pot which were fancy but way cheap and it didn't work out let's just say i probably used them twice to cook so go for hearts hearts are the pots that you need to go to you get fancy when you have the budget and you are all sorted if you have the money go for the best pots if you have the money no problem but if you are still starting out just go for hearts i think hearts are a good investment another thing another scam that they don't tell you about getting your own place guys is buying electricity buying water yo guys adulting is real so with electricity um where i started to stay at at first i think we we're buying like 200 rands each 
I would pay 200 rands, they would pay 200 rands, depending on how, on how you agree with the person that you're staying with. It can get complicated. In my case, it, get, it got complicated because I was like, it's three of us, um, so we need to divide the total amount by three. And they were like, no, we are a couple, so we're, also, we're only going to divide that by two. So please let me know in the, in the comment section, which one do you think is fair? Should it be divided by three because we're three? Or should it be divided by two because they're, they're a couple? The other argument was that uh, electricity is not like water. They only cook once. I don't think so because they are two. That means that they use more water. And if they use more water, that means the geyser will be empty. If the geyser is empty, that means we need more electricity to heat up the water. But if it's only the two of us, then would you get what I'm saying? But that is just like childish things that i'm not there anymore i've grown now so let me know in the comments do you think it should be divided by three or by two like <laughs> let me know so that's the electricity part and then you also need to buy water where i stayed at first i didn't have to buy water which was awesome like you could bath and do whatever that you wanted with the water the landlord was the one that was paying for water where i stay now i need to buy water so we need to make sure that we use water wisely and we save um with electricity i remember when i was still in rest guys like my heater was always on i will tell you the truth now i don't own a heater because electricity is a lot it's really a lot um i think that you'd like to get is wi-fi as well when you're staying in rest wi-fi is like heaven um, when you move into your own place, you realize you don't have Wi-Fi, you need to get your own Wi-Fi, you need to get a good subscription. The good thing about staying with someone is that each one of you can actually pay half of the fee and I think that is great. So, yeah. What else am I forgetting? So guys, that's it from me. That's it. If you like this video, if you enjoyed it, please like, please comment, please share your thoughts on the comment section below. If there's any other video that you'd like me to do concerning or related to the subject, please let me know, DM me, uh, let's connect, let's chat. And I hope you like this video. Okay guys, see you guys at my next upload. Please don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, don't forget to leave a comment right below. I love you guys so much and thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching this video to the end. And thank you, thank you so much for always coming here. Thank you for liking, thank you for subscribing and I'll see you guys in my next video.